The plot of Stargirl centers around a girl named Stargirl Caraway, who ends up being the new student at Mika High. And Leo Burlock, this young kid who is very shy and timid and sticks to himself, ends up being very mystified by Stargirl. And their friendship and relationship actually ends up changing how this school and the students of this school interact with each other. One thing that really resonated with me is that as I was reading Stargirl, I was expecting Stargirl to be this whimsical character that was selfless and positive 24 seven and nothing could tear her down. And the moment in the book, as well as the moment in the movie, when you know Leo is talking to her and discussing her happy wagon and seeing that she's a human being, that she has her days where she's really sad and she has her days where she's really happy, it was really interesting for me to see that we're all human beings at the end of the day. Regardless of what mask that we try to put on, if we're, you know, closed off and we don't feel any emotions and, or if we're, you know, the peppy cheerleader or the jock or whoever we are, or even the extremely positive girl that acts like nothing can tear her down, we're all human beings at the end of the day and we all experience emotions and we all go through the same roller coasters as teenagers. After audiences see Stargirl, I really hope they experience a feeling of hope or change. Um, I think in this day and age, like I said, we get lost in our own worlds and we're a little bit preoccupied about how the world sees us and making sure that we're all perfect and making sure that we're all fine. But I hope that it leaves people feeling a bit more comfortable to be themselves and they feel a bit more inspired to be more accepting of others and to open their eyes a little bit broader.